Hello Aries, welcome to your August reading. I hope that um, June was productive for you. I apologise for no July reading. I'm going to dive straight into your August reading and see what we've got for you. Okay, Aries, um, we've got some very interesting cards for you this month for, for August. It seems as though there's been a lot happening through July. There seems to have been a shift in energy here. We have the Four of Wands, the Knight of Cups and the Page of Wands. So a lot of passion going on. Four of Wands speaks about uh, kind of a solidity, a finding your balance, being able to set down roots and establish yourself. It can also speak about contracts uh, and engagements. Um, so this, this is either something to do with your productivity, your growth, your work arena, or perhaps your education. Maybe you're growing in an arena that is causing you to feel very happy and kind of feeling quite free. Maybe you've been in a situation before where things weren't very secure uh, and you've, you've gained either a new contract or you've gained another level, a, a step, a secure step, if you like. So the, the ones represent growth and they represent um, passion as well. So this is definitely something that you've been aiming for. I really like the energy in this card and as a base card, it bodes well. The Knight of Cups is interesting in this because the Knight is quite romantic. He kind of brings all of the feelings, if you like. And sometimes those feelings are, uh, they can be a little bit ungrounded or they might be kind of pure. They might be... You know, he has full focus on these feelings, but maybe he is kind of not entirely based in reality. So what I'm saying here is that, you know, there might be this kind of attraction going on. It could well be to do with a person or it could well be to do with a situation where, you know, it's kind of rose tinted glasses a little bit. So to be aware of this initial energy being great is exactly what... Uh, many of us look for but to kind of allow it to grow don't put too much store in it right now allow it to develop organically and naturally um, and to establish itself because it's all about giving you this foundation here now the page of wands comes along quite interestingly to show us that we've got this understanding we have this intuition coming in here we know that there's growth here we know that there's opportunity here the page of one signifies it sometimes signifies messages or uh, opportunities coming in but it also signifies a spiritual growth it um, helps you to understand that you're on a journey that will grow your soul so as a base we're looking at uh, definite growth here and it looks really really joyful let me get you some clarity cards now you will notice that the parts where I'm shuffling um, are speeded up on the video. It's purely to cut the video timing down and to make it less tedious. So here we go. Okay, Aries, so we have the Queen of Swords, the Lovers, and the Nine of Wands. Queen of Swords is pure intellect. She has uh, enormous insight into people and things because of her history, because of her own experiences. She's grown through various lessons and levels to bring her absolute insight and she's able to kind of cut through the chaff if you like she's able to really determine without emotion fact from fiction if you like and that over the four of wands indicates to me that you're really growing into a a mindset uh, and an understanding that not only has the sword of truth that being able to see clearly but having the passion to drive forward your own truth. Then we have the lover's card. And the lover's card to me is all about a personal alchemy. It can be about choice. Sometimes it's a choice in um, our romantic affairs. Um, but it, you know, invariably our romantic affairs is, is a reflection of who we are on the inside. We attract who we are, as they say. And so the lover's card is about reflection within. It's about looking to gain the balance of our own masculine and feminine in order to attract that vibration to our, towards ourselves. So what we're looking at here is an energy that asks you to 
use the lessons that you've had in the past and to uh, have the understanding of how to keep your balance moving forward. And then we have the Nine of Wands over the Page of Wands, which I find kind of fortuitous because what that says is you've kind of completed a cycle where you've you know had all of these obstacles and um, and lessons and although that might make you cynical it might make you kind of defensive in a way what it's done is it's given you a, a 360 it's given you a, some kind of defense where you can understand uh, the red flags when you see them and you can understand um, where you hold yourself back and so there we have the page of ones which is the brand new start and the opportunity to go within and learn much more of yourself. Okay, I'm going to draw you uh, an advice card now. And how it comes. Mm, interesting. So we have the laziness card, which is great advice, actually. So the laziness card speaks about where we can be emotionally. We can feel as though we've reached a certain level, you know, we've arrived if you like and we're able to put on our fluffy slippers and drink our pina colada and we're able to rest on our laurels and to some degree you kind of can but um, we do get complacent in this uh, arena in this energy and so what it says to you is you know the horizon is kind of stretching out before you here and you're not meant to stay in one place for so long. You're not meant to be still. You're meant to keep growing. This is on a spiritual level and sometimes a physical level. Um, we sometimes get stuck in our patterns and our ways. And this is asking you to kind of look behind you, you know, look and, and look what's going on around you and see if the structure and what you've created for yourself up until this point has longevity and to... It asks you to keep growing, to keep going, basically. And so the laziness speaks about, you know, that whole scenario of kind of feeling too comfortable and not looking to develop ourselves any further than we are because where we are is okay. We limit ourselves and we, because of our own self-belief uh, and sometimes because we're tired and sometimes because we don't think we can and actually we have much more... Uh, creativity inside of us much more to discover about ourselves and so this card comes along to say hey you know this energy that you've got the four of ones the stability and the you know the passion and the um, alchemy of yourself don't rest on those laurels you've come from this nine of ones kind of experience into the a kind of a new start here with the page um, you've got more to do basically there's much more on the horizon for you I'm going to draw you um, an outcome card for August now. Okay, Aries, so this is very interesting to me. We have the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is about past pain. It's about pulling on our history, pulling on old emotions and dragging them into our future. And what it says to me is that there are ties here to things that might, might have occurred to you that can be released now. This kind of maybe it's a attitude of lack maybe it's it's a, a feeling of unworthiness maybe um, it's resentment it could be any scenario it could to do be to do with work or relationship now I'm kind, of, kind of leaning on the side of relationship here but it's also on a spiritual level because I'm seeing this kind of I'm seeing the swords here on the girl's arm and the swords are about your mental processes and often that has to do with how we feel uh, it's generated from how we feel and sometimes if we switch how we feel about something it has less impact or control over us and so I kind of want you to switch things up a little bit in terms of things that might have occurred in the past and it's time to let some things go so through August you might find yourself really clearing out old beliefs and patterns and kind of building on a new you, it seems. All right, Aries, let me know in the comments what you think of that, and uh, I'll see you next time.